Okay guys, so this is probably the most requested project for me to actually finish um, or complete and not just have sitting here. Um, it is the mini power hammer. And in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is welding the base. Here we got some quarter inch steel to some one inch steel. Um, and then we have some like one and a half inch round for the anvil. So we're gonna weld all that up. We are going to just work on little bits and pieces. Um, I took off the loader so it'll be easier to weld. Um, and then basically the main thing we're doing in this video, like I said, is we're gonna be welding this. And then I'm not sure how far I'll get today, but uh, we'll see. So let's get started. now I'm just going to leave that to cool um, and then once it is fully cool I will um, clean up the welds and make it all nice and good okay so here it is and it's all cooled down basically I need to get to clean up the welds get all the spatter off so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp it in the vise and then take a chisel and just chip off every single piece of spatter so, ensue time lapse.
Okay, so you saw me just make this piece. Um, I did a bit work off camera, but basically this is gonna be welded on here so that when I weld the ram guides, it isn't like this on a um, real one. I kind of, well, if it was a real one, it would have like this big thing that like wraps around and it's like a circle, but I don't think I can really make that. But if I weld it on the ram guide, look, it would just be welded on in this tiny little spot right there. Um, so this one would be fine because it's welded all the way along that. But I just think it's gonna be better if I weld on this plate first and then they get welded onto this plate. That will make the ramp stick out a little bit, but it should be fine because I do have enough room on the crankshaft for it to slide out. And it will only slide like literally that far. It's like, yeah, perfect. Like a 16th of an inch. So, um, next, I guess I'm going to weld on this. I don't think I'll weld on the ram guides next or yet, but I'm gonna weld on this, just tack it in a couple places, and then that will be good to go. So, you saw me prep these. I'm going to weld this plate onto the face here. I've made the 45s, and then I will grind it all flush, and then I'm gonna drill a hole from the back into the plate so you can see the inner workings, but the um, ram slider or off-center, whatever it's called, will still be able to well, it won't be able to get out, but you'll be able to see it. So now I'm gonna weld that up. Also, yes, it is snowing. It's quite different from yesterday because it is now the next day. Can't even see those mountains. Alrighty, so what you just saw me working on is the treadle for this here hammer. This here, which I did not make right, so I ended up bending. Um, so I'm gonna have to make another, unfortunately. So time to do that.
Okay, so I got the treadle. Nice and situated. Um, so I'm going to need to drill holes or maybe one long hole that passes all the way through and we'll allow this to go up and down and then I'll put a pin through it. Um, so, I guess I'm gonna put this in the vise and drill that next because, well, actually drill press would probably be better. I can just put a, like a block under one side. So that's what I'll do, probably an eighth inch hole. Okay guys, thank you um, so much for watching. I know my welds are absolutely horrible, but hopefully it will look better in the end. It's not gonna look pretty, but it's going to hopefully work. That is all I'm going to do for today um, because if I started anything else, then it would just be, it would make the video kind of overwhelming, so. Um, I will hopefully have the next part out within a week or two. I'm not sure, depending on what else I work on, but please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.